So I got into a little bit of trouble on New Year's Eve and I ended up making somebody's wife upset at him because he was fooling around with me. So I was trying to make New Year's Eve plans and I really didn't know what I was going to do because a lot of my like gay group of friends was leaving town. Only my two closest friends were staying in town and one of them was invited to this party that was hosted by this like slightly older gay couple. He told us that it was like a pretty exclusive party with a lot of like professional people, but that he was going to try to get us an invite. Everybody says their party is exclusive and they're like, I didn't have anything better to do, so I didn't really care and I was down. So I was like, yeah, try to get us an invite. Let us know. He ended up getting us on the list, which I thought was no big deal. But then over the next couple of weeks, people kept asking me and my friends, like, what are you doing for New Year's? And I would tell them, like, look, we're going to this couple's house for their party. Every time I said that, people would be like, what? How the hell did you get an invite to this party? Like, I've been trying to get an invite to this party for years and haven't gotten one. So I started realizing that, like, this is probably going to actually be a pretty fun party. And I started asking my friend, like, hey, what do I expect at this party? And so he explained that we should bring multiple costume changes, that everybody is going to be, like, on cloud nine, and that it's going to be a bunch of professional people, like, acting completely insane. I honestly didn't really believe him. One, because he's the kind of person who would put on multiple costume changes for a party, and he's the kind of person who would be on Cloud9 at New Year's. So I was like, okay, I kind of have a feeling that you're just telling me this because this is what you do at this party. I don't really think everybody else does, but I'll bring costume changes just in case. So it's New Year's Eve, we pre-partied a little of our friend's house, and then we drove up the mountain to this house that it's at. It was a ridiculously fancy house, not gonna lie. So we walk inside, and when we walked in, my mind was kind of blown. The music's blasting like epic house music. There's lights and projections everywhere and everybody's on the dance floor. There's girls in these ridiculously fancy gowns. There's guys who are like completely shirtless with masks on and like mirrors reflecting everywhere. People were dressed over the top. So we walked in, I pretty much bailed on my friends immediately and started introducing myself to all these people and like making new friends. I was making the rounds and everyone was really friendly and fun to talk to. And then I got to these two daddies who honestly were so fucking sexy they started chatting it up with me a bunch and as we're chatting i'm really focused on like how fucking gorgeous their chests are i mean they're like the perfect amount of hairy they're shredded they have chiseled faces like ah. and i could tell everybody was on cloud nine because as we're talking these daddies start touching my chest a little bit like they honestly just seem very like lovey-dovey and into human connection at the moment and they were just getting very touchy then we migrated to the dance floor. The daddies came and their wives. And once we were on the dance floor, like the touching went to the next level. Like it was getting intimate, not just with the daddies, with their wives too. I mean, I'm hundred percent gay, but these girls were all over me. I kind of got the vibe that the wives were okay with the dads touching me as long as they were allowed to too. Then as we're dancing, I have this wife in front of me and the guy behind me sticks his hands down my pants. Follow for part two.